started playing basketball when I was in fifth grade. Um, I ended up just starting to play in PE and with the boys on the playground. And every time he would split us up, boys and girls, I would be like, can I go play with the boys? Because, I don't know, it was more fun and they knew what they were doing. <laughs> As co-captain, it's really important for me because since I've been a freshman, I've always had the philosophy, you know, you can be a leader without being named a captain. And so finally being able to have this position as a title, I suppose, um, it's, it's an amazing feeling because it's everything I've worked towards and doing it with my best friend as the other captain is just something special because we have a great relationship and we shared, you know, different positions and what we're supposed to do as captains and, you know, leading my team, I want them to respect me just as much as I respect them. And so that's all I can do and try and be an example for them. As a senior and knowing this is my last year, I'm definitely going to miss being out there and feeling like, you know, that's my family. That's my family on the court, off the court. At school, we see each other and give each other a hard time or if someone's having a bad day, they're there for me no matter what. So going into college, it's kind of scary. You know, if I end up not playing, then who do I have around me? Who's my family at college? So that's definitely the biggest thing that I'll miss. The most special memory of my basketball career at Santa Margarita was definitely winning CIF. We were a young team my sophomore year and getting to that final game and pulling it out after being down by a good 10 point deficit and we just pulled through and I remember them announcing it and running out and jumping on my teammate and it was the greatest feeling. My faith throughout my high school years and throughout basketball has definitely been a big part of me. I can always turn to prayer. Prayer has always been there for me. And even though sometimes you can't really feel like anything is happening, in the end, I always turn around and I look and I'm like, that, like God was there for me. And God is just, my faith is so steady sometimes that it's overwhelming. And it it kind of hits me and it's like, wow, this is something so much greater than I am in the world I live in that, how does this even exist? It's amazing. In my life, I have three of the best role models and they're all my siblings, um, especially my brother Douglas. If ever I am having a struggle, especially in basketball, he's always there and so are my other siblings. Tyler, he'll just be such a goof with me and. If I just want to have a little bit of fun, you know, go to Tyler or Annie, my sister, who's closest to me. She, you know, if I need a hug, she's there. Or if I have boy problems or girl drama, it's go to Annie. You know, she's there for me. She's all three of them. They're my backbone, along with my parents. Some of the biggest challenges in basketball have definitely been learning who I am as a player. Some of that has come from different aspects like figuring out the best shot for my, you know, my skill set and figuring out that even though I may not be the best shooter and I may not be the one who scores the most points, I can give to this team in a different way. I can give this team in defensive rebounds, offensive rebounds, passes, assists, steals, anything I can do to play to my level and to make my team better. That's my goal. That's what I want to do to make this team great. Basketball has taught me to be patient and to be ferocious in whatever I want and to do it in a way that, you know, you have to have some pride in yourself. You have to know what you want and go after it. And it's also taught me to have a good sense of leadership and, you know, strength. And you can't be you can't be weak in this sport. You have to be strong. And that's something that's definitely going to carry out with me throughout life. Mm -hmm.